Hey everyone, I am Bryce, and today I am going to explain to you how to target competitors audiences on Facebook. So make sure to stick around till the very end to discover the steps required to effectively reach and engage with your competitors audience. The key tool we'll use is the Meta Ad Library, which is super effective for finding all the ads currently running on Meta Technologies. To get started, open the Meta Ad Library. It is the best tool to search for ads. Once you are there, use keywords to find specific advertisements. Here is a quick walkthrough. Set your location, choose an ad category, and select your search types. For example, I will search for ads in all countries and under the food category, once you have filtered the ads, you can explore and check out your competitors. Now let us say we are curious about BuzzFeed food. By clicking on their profile, you can see if they are currently running any ads. If they are, you can go to their pages on Facebook and Instagram to learn more about their strategies. This is a simple way to track your competitors and gather insights into advertising approach. If you want to know whether a particular Instagram account is running ads, you can copy the link and paste it here. For example, let us make it simpler by searching for something like Universal Google. By searching this phrase, you will get various results, and in this case, results are from Universal Pictures. Now click on a relevant result to check out their ads. You will see multiple versions, each with different creative content and text. Scroll down to find the one that suits your needs. For example, let us continue with this one. Click on See Ad Details to get more information about the ad, such as the name of the person or entity behind it. You will also get to see the images and videos. You might find multiple versions of the same ad, so explore them to understand your competition's advertising strategies better. This method allows you to analyze and track your competitors' ads to make good decisions about your advertising approach. Now I am going to narrow down my search to something more specific. Instead of looking at ads globally, I will focus on ads only in Mexico. Let us go back to the All Ads section and select Mexico as the location. This time, I will pick a specific ad category, and for this example, let us choose Universal Pictures. Upon focusing on Mexico, we can see there are less than 43 results for January. These are the actual links to the ads, showing what my competition is up to. Each entry provides details like the amount spent, impressions, runs, and more. Now let us check out the ad details. You can add additional information and the actual link. The main part here is the photos, which you can give insights into the visual aspects of the ads. Ignore the terms of use section. It is not important for our analysis. Just focus on the upper side to get valuable information about what your competition is doing in Mexico. Now let us go back and see Ad Library Report. The Ad Library Report provides more insights into the reporting aspects of the specific application you are interested in. You can choose your preferred country from the top. From here, you can also choose the time frame to see data of your preferred time. You can also look at data for the last seven days and the last 90 days. In my search for an advertiser, I am specifically looking for Universal. The ad library report shows a detailed spending tracker for their ads, including the amount spent, the number of ads in the library, and additional information. Examining the last 90 days, it shows a substantial spending amount, nearly a, minute, nearly a million, indicating a good amount of investment. The geographical focus includes locations like Mexico, Puebla, Morelos, and Jalisco. Now let us select the location, United States. As you can see, there are over 50 million total ads in the library. On scrolling down, you will get to see main investors. This information is important for tracking your competitors and understanding their strategies. Checking what works for others is good, but I need to see if it will work for me too. For example, looking at the data from the last seven days, I see Gobiemo del Estado spent a lot, almost half a million dollars on many ads. This detailed info helps me understand advertising better and make better choices for my ads. So I will click here to see the ads of this user and understand their strategies. It seems they focus on things like social issues, elections, and politics, which may not match with my interests. But let us see what they are doing. The ads have been running until January, and I get details like the platforms used. 
estimated audience size, daily spending, total impressions, and a unique ID for each ad. Also, we can see the actual ad. This helps you keep an eye on what your competition is doing and see if it works for them. There are filters at the top, which are like tools to check different things like languages, platforms, media types, and more. This helps you to find changes you might need for your ads on Facebook Meta. Later, you can use these ideas from your competitors for your own business. There is an option to explore the Ad Library API for advanced features, but we won't get into that. But we won't go into that now because it involves complicated things like coding. So using the Ad Library and its reports is a practical way to learn from others and improve your ads. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.